Hi, uh, YouTube. How's it going? I wanted to share some information on kind of a project that I worked on for a few months. So I bought a Saturn SD 470, I believe it is, inflatable boat with the aluminum floor. Kind of want to go over some of the things that I kind of did to this boat. So first of all, as you can see, I have seats on here um, that I bought from Academy. These are just basic fishing boat seats. Um, they're bolted on to custom boxes that I made, which all hold storage. As you can see in the middle there, in the bottom, I have screws, eight millimeter screws that go down into the floor, holes I drilled into the aluminum floor, which I use uh, eight millimeter weld nuts, basically on the bottom side and the screw goes in and stops flush at the floor, doesn't go past it. Same, same effect for the rear seat as well. I got the oar holders in the back, which are collapsible, extendable oars. I have fire extinguisher and a six gallon fuel tank here. And on the other side, three life jackets. Um, I got the four bow bimini as well, which I kind of rigged to sit perfectly on the boat. As you can see, kind of, I, uh, I moved the joint up here, the bar, the support bar from up here. I moved it down to here so that it can be right, right near me and also have clearance on that side for the swim ladder that I put up. So when people are swimming, they can climb back on the boat and have all the space to kind of climb in and then climb over. Um, I also have the center console here with a fish finder and a battery meter, as you can see here. Uh, there is a 10,000 milliamp battery right here, which is all again wired to the back since I installed an electric start on the motor, which is a 15 horsepower Mercury 2011. Um, you can see here, I kind of rigged my own little start button here um the boat performs quite well moves about 20 miles an hour with three people on it two people definitely a little more um, but not much more i think that's pretty much all i'm going to get out of it um you know this is the aluminum floor like i said so i drilled holes to support everything including the center con con console as you can see i built this little arm here which has a drink holder has a tachometer usb ports the power button right here which turns on and off Basically everything that's on here. Um, that's pretty much what I have in place. I know a lot of people were asking questions about it. Um, the trailer is a Harbor Freight 4x8 heavy duty trailer, which I actually converted into a basically inflatable boat trailer. As you can see, it's customized as much as I could without wasting too much money. Some wood I had at home. Um, I did extend the tongue out. I just bought some 2x4, I mean 2x2 two two, uh, galvanized aluminum tube and Basically, that's what it looks like. Performs flawlessly every time I've taken it out already. Um, this setup has been on the water about 15 times now. Got a little 600 pound winch, strap winch right there, which kind of hooks up to this little lead here from the tow hook on the side, right through the middle tow hook, um, hand hook, so that I can kind of just keep it all buttoned up and tied against the uh, bow stop there. Overall, pretty happy with it. I'm still making some adjustments. Um, I put some trim tabs here, which I, re I pretty much lifted all the way to their top setting and even higher than they, re they recommended. To act more as lifters or risers instead of like the, the trim tabs as they were. I think they cause a little too much drag. Um, I also put installed transom hooks, as you can see here, which strap down to the bottom. Um, it keeps basically everything nice and snug while we're trailering and nothing moves around. Again, I have an extendable swim ladder, which flips over and drops into the water. So in and out of the water real easily. Um, I also have, you know, transducer right here for the fish finder installed back here. All the wires all run up the side here. Uh, kept everything on one piece. When I do deflate the boat and take it apart, it literally takes me an hour. The console and motor all come off at the same time. I have a winch installed on my ceiling, as you can see there. That's what helps me lift up the actual outboard and put it on a kind of my homemade boat stand right there, uh, engine stand. And um, I also use some wide yellow truck straps from that winch front and back of the boat underneath it and lift it up completely off the trailer, drop it on the floor, and I can deflate it completely. Um, that's basically how I do that. Behind that seat up there, you have a 18,000 milliamp power bank, power pack, which can pump out up to 10 amps, which I use if I ever need to power the uh, cigarette um, outlet that's on there, as well as USB ports on the front and back of that box. Each seat also has their own um, cup holders in the front, drink holders. And of course I got Scotty mount here for the fishing rods. 
Overall, extremely pleased with it. It's a pretty cool boat. Gets me out there. Plenty of space when I'm alone. Plenty of space with two people. We've swam in, you know, 90 feet of water. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. Um, if anybody has any questions, just let me know.